This isn't going to fill itself. Who are you? Something that I have to say. Hey, you don't have to tell her nothing. We'll talk to management on your phone. What are you talking about? See, I approached my new associate here last night after work about unionization. I pointed out to him that you had been exploiting him since this place opened up and that the only way for him to get an equitable wage was to create a union. Although he was not initially receptive, I pride myself on being very convincing. Eventually, we agreed to form Local Lemonade Vendors 125, what would be the most prudent course of action for all parties involved. And subsequently, we brought on Rodney here to help spread out the workload and create jabs. I don't like Rodney. He smells like my friend's dad and he kicks things. You've done it, Miss Daisy. You've done it. Rodney. Although there may be a humorous element to the story we've just seen, it demonstrates a very important point. Unions have been lobbying Congress to make a law that would get rid of the requirement of a secret ballot before a union is formed. The only possible purpose this serves is to take away the means of employees who have been intimidated by union organizers to express their own true opinions in private. They are attempting to legally cement the gains made by physical intimidation of workers by union thugs and make it no longer a matter of concern whether or not the employees actually want to start a union. The Orwellian title this guy, Employee this guy Free here? Choice Act must be this defeated. Guy here? Please contract, hey. contact your hey. congressional representative. We got something going on here.